They're replacing you. Better get ready for it. The white Anglo-Saxon Protestant is their enemy. That's the common enemy that they have. They've always said it. And that hodgepodge of weirdos have all come together to form a fist to take you out. And it's not, it's nothing's new under the sun, y'all. Governments have done this before. When they can't control their populations, when they have a part of the population they don't like, they replace them. Hey, ask Adolf Hill about it, right? He didn't like the Jews, he just replaced them. Stalin did not the kulaks, he replaced them. Mao Zedong didn't like the landlords, he replaced them. See where I'm going with this now? And they always want to catch you when you're asleep because you always believe because you're such good people. No one could ever do that. That's when they get you. Hmm. Men and women have to be sober-minded. So according to Reuters, Tyson Foods laid off 1,200 employees this week in Perry, Iowa, claiming there has been a drop in demand for some of their products. But they're planning to hire 52,000 migrants at their factories. And according to Newsweek, they announced this week that they are planning to hire asylum seekers that arrived in New York City. They have a program, they say, that will alleviate the headache for city leaders that complain about having too many migrants. The migrants will be offered $16.50 an hour, along with other benefits that include temporary housing, child care, and legal aid. They will if you guys woke up today to the news about Tyson Foods um, laying off 1,300 people only to hire 1,300 migrants, I... Um, would suggest you look for that little snippet of news because um, this is in Iowa and um, there is a major boycott happening because of this because 1,300 Americans have lost their jobs and they are now given to migrants that they are going to be making $16.50 an hour um, in benefits and all that while 1,300 uh, Americans now are without a job. So I want you to remember that it's not just Tyson Chicken. Tyson Foods oh, has a whole bunch of brands under their umbrella. So I want you to take a good look at these brands, take a screenshot or whatever. So next time you're at the grocery store, you are not purchasing any of these. Sara Lee, um, ballpark hot dogs all i mean there's a lot of brands they have hey welcome back it's your man wise and today i have sad news to report sad news to discuss tyson's food is going to hire 52,000 migrants after massive layoffs in iowa I would assume that there will be more layoffs all around the country at the different Tyson plants and the different food brand plants that they own. This is outrageous. And honestly, I don't care which side of the aisle you stand on. Blue, red, Democrat, Republican, liberal, conservative. If you are an American, this is a problem. This is a huge problem. They are literally taking food and resources out of Americans' mouths, bank accounts, and pockets and giving them, giving them to people who just got here. The brother Vince Everett Ellison at the beginning of this video here told you they are replacing you. It's time to stand up. The same way people stood up against Bud Light, and a host of other companies out there last summer and really hit them in the pockets, their bottom line. It's time to stand up. You vote with your dollars. You vote with your dollars. Do not support these people. Before we get into the video, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Drop me a comment down below. I appreciate all the love and support. And before we get started, we must have a word from our sponsor, Child Light Candles. Thank you. 
please support Child Light Candles today. These candles are simply terrific. They are amazing. I use them. I pretty much use them on a day-to-day -day basis. I got to get me some more because I'm running out. I've been burning them. I like my house to smell good. And these candles assist with that. The entire house. You burn one candle. It can. If you have one level, the entire one level that you're on, it's going to have that sweet fragrance. If you have two or three levels, you don't have to worry about burning candles on each level. Don't have to worry about it. One candle gets the job done. This organization, Childlike Candles, is a veteran-owned organization. They're doing great things in the community. They're helping veterans. Childlike Candles, get you one today. Fragrances lit for the kingdom. Now let's get into the video. All right, Mitra and Tyson laying off 1,200 workers after closing its pork factory in Perry, Iowa, only later to announce 52,000 jobs for migrants. The company's excuse, migrants are getting the jobs that Americans don't want. A human resources executive for the company telling Bloomberg the migrants have been, quote, very loyal. They've been uprooted. And what they want is stability. What they want is a sense of belonging. Let's bring in Fox and Friends Weekend co-host Pete. Before we get in there, you know what they really want. We know we know what the what the migrants want, and that and that very what Mel very much may be true. They want stability. They want an opportunity to make some money. Wherever they came from, making sixteen dollars an hour or sixteen dollars and fifty cents an hour is huge. That's a whole heck of a lot of money because a lot of places, in, especially in Central and South America, these people, they've never made this type of bread before in their life. But what we do know is, is that Tyson's, they want the cheap labor. And the Democrats have given them the opportunity to hire people at a fraction of the cost in comparison to what they were paying American citizens. What we do know about any organization, any company, the greatest expense of any company is their labor costs. So anytime a company gets an opportunity to cut their labor costs probably in half or at least 20, 25 to 30 percent, that is huge savings. But it also means a lot of daggone profits, profits that they had not seen probably for years. That's why this is happening. And to be honest with you, this is more bipartisan than this is more bipartisan than we know. Both sides are in on this. That's why I keep saying we're probably at a point where we need to realistically start looking at a new party. We need to start looking at something that is considered the, the uh, working class, middle class party. And we need people from those uh, uh, classes in these parties standing up and fighting against these elites that are both on the right and on the left. Pete, hey, Seth, Pete, good to see you. Yes. But again, lower wages, taking American jobs. This was the reason why Democrats were opposed to illegal immigration 10, 15, 25 years ago. But here it plays out. This costs Americans a livelihood. That's true. It was also the reason why uh, the Chamber of Commerce crowd of the Republican Party was so reluctant to Donald Trump back in 2015, 2016, dependent on importing cheap labor. He said, we're going to build that wall. We're going to stop this. I'm going to put Americans first. Wages will rise as a result. And now you've got an inversion of that with the Democrat Party saying, come on in. And then you've, we've heard glimpses of it, right, when Nancy Pelosi said, who else? Who else is going to pick our crops, right? I mean, that's their mindset, and the businesses are happy to do it when there's no e-verifier, there's no consequences, and so they, yeah, cheaper labor for this business to produce a product, and it's not an easy. At, th at this point now, they're actually giving them work authorizations. They are giving these people work authorizations to go and have the ability to work in these plants. Now we do know that a number of a lot. A number of liberal mayors have begged for this to happen because they've got all these people. They're utilizing a, uh, a ton of resources to take care of these people. They're like, take them off our hands. We got to give these people a, a, a way to work. And next step, once they get the work authorization and they start working, now the next step is we got to expedite a path to citizenship for these people. The brother Vince Everett Ellison, he told you they are here to replace you. They are here to replace you. If you thought he was lying, you are seeing it happen in real time. This is awful. 
So all the small towns, when we did the video uh, a couple of weeks back, um, you know, when uh, Benny went down and did interviews down in um, uh, that small town down in, uh, in, North, in South Carolina, Nikki Haley's hometown, that brother was going off. But if you guys recall, that town was once a bustling textile community. And the textile plants or, or uh, warehouses or, or whatever you would call those things, they all shut down. They moved out of the country, not just out the state, out of the country. And it left the town decimated. They never were able to, they, they've never been able to recover. And that's what's going to happen out in Perry, Iowa. And that's what's going to happen in every other small town around the country where, where these plants were. And these, these businesses were the lifeblood of those cities or towns. And those people are now being told, you don't matter anymore. We're going with cheaper labor. We don't care about you. We don't care about Americans. What, or what we should do is stop purchasing, stop supporting their products. The job, you know, people that do those jobs, they're dirty, they're tough, but... Um, Americans should have the first shot, and they should have a good shot at a good wage. And it, it's so dismissive, the, the language that they use, that these, oh, Americans don't want these jobs. How did, uh, really? Americans had these jobs. Right. And they lost them. Correct. Exactly. And if you thought about paying, if Americans are doing the jobs, they're going to raise the wages for the right. jobs, too. That's all good. Now, somebody's going to say something along the lines in the comment section and say, but the turnover rate was so high, of course. I think the turnover rate in a lot of these plants were about 40%. Um... When you look at some of your, I guess, more upper echelon type positions, typically the turnover rate are, is somewhere around between 15 and 20 percent. But when you have a hard demanding job like this, you have to expect that the turnover rate is high. But you also have to look at the turnover rate being high also because this job isn't meant to be the job that you work forever. Typically, this is your starter job. This is the job that you work for a year or two while you're working on obtaining some skills that put you in a situation where you can make a little more cheese. So, of course, there's going to be some turnover there and typically turnover at a much higher rate. Now, these folks, they may get here and take this job and they can work there 10, 15 years because this is a whole heck of a lot better than any job that they had where they came from if they had jobs. So, this is this is just very, very unfortunate. Yeah, this is a very unfortunate situation. Very unfortunate. And the Democrats are showing you that they do not care about America. They do not care about Americans. These people are bought and paid for. To include the people on mainstream liberal media, they're bought and paid for. They're part of the kind. They're part of the grift. You see this happening, and if anybody that, even if you are on the left and you see this happening to these people in these towns all around the country, this is happening. You would have to assume that you're next. We must do what we need to do to get these people out of office. Out of office. Let me know what you guys think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Drop me a comment down below. I appreciate all the love and support. Keep God first in your life. America first. And I'm going to catch up with you all next time. Peace.